When night falls and the light has vanished, there are ghosts wandering around this area. Unfortunately, I am able to see them. Researchers say that a tsunami nearly 30 meters high slammed into Ofunato City, Iwate Prefecture on March 11th. This was the highest known wave to be triggered by the devastating quake. When the world holds its breath in the wake of an unspeakable tragedy, the echoes of those lost sometimes seem to linger. It's a notion as old as time that after great loss, the line between the living and the dead can blur. We hear stories of ghostly encounters in places marked by disaster, and nowhere is this more prominent than in the tales that emerged after the 2011 Japan tsunami. People often don't realize while watching this footage that the 20,000 people that lost their lives in this tsunami are within this horrific debris. The lives lost were those who failed to escape to safety as the tsunami hit harder and faster than anyone had predicted. In these waters, people are drowning and being crushed by debris. These are not empty houses. In many cases, people never imagined this kind of force was possible and thought the safest option was to remain in their house as the tsunami hit. As you can see in this footage, people are scrambling and running for their lives as warning came at the last minute that their homes weren't safe. Not all managed to escape to safety in time and had no chance of escape. In Miyagi, and it looks, and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities. In this horrifying footage, we see how quickly the tsunami turned a quiet river into an apocalyptic nightmare. There's much more to this footage than meets the eye. If we look carefully, there are anomalies in this footage that to this day can't be explained. Look at the 
Did you see it? We clearly see in this footage white transparent entities coming out of the water and disappearing into thin air. Here we see something black appear right in front of the camera and quickly flying off to the left. Could this just be a glitch in the video? Or do you think it's something more than that? What do you think we're actually seeing here as I have no explanation for it? Could these be the ghosts of the tsunami? Making their way to the next realm? Or could this just be a trick of the eye? Please let me know in the comments below. Solving the city in Sendai. This next video shows what some claim to be another ghost of the tsunami. This time it was caught during a live news coverage of the tsunami. I personally have no explanation for what this could be, so please let me know in the comments if you have any explanations at all for this strange sighting. Of a tsunami engulfing Sendai area in Miyagi Prefecture. This is after a major earthquake hitting Japan Friday afternoon. According to Japanese culture, not all of the dead are able to pass on to the next realm. Some are stuck here due to having unresolved emotions. In the midst of such overwhelming loss, the survivors were left to rebuild not just their homes, but their lives. Yet, as they tried to move on, many began to experience something strange. From taxi drivers picking up phantom passengers, to families encountering the spirits of loved ones, reports of ghostly encounters began to spread, filling the void left by the disaster with whispers of the supernatural. One of the most well-known stories comes from the city of Ishinomaki, one of the hardest hit areas. Countless taxi drivers started reporting they would pick up passengers who seemed completely normal at first, only to turn around and find the back seat empty. most chilling part, these ghostly passengers would often request to be taken to locations that no longer existed, places that had been wiped off the map by the tsunami. It's a haunting thought, isn't it? The idea that these spirits are trying to return to places they once knew, perhaps unaware that they're no longer alive, or maybe they know it all too well, or maybe they're just longing for the comfort of the familiar in a world that's been irreversibly changed. And it's not just taxi drivers. Many locals have reported seeing figures walking alone on the shore, silently staring out at the sea. These apparitions, often described as having a sorrowful, lost look, are believed by some to be the spirits of those who drowned, still searching for their way home. In some cases, entire families have been seen together, standing on the beach, a tragic reminder of those who perished together in the waves. But perhaps the most heart-wrenching stories are those who come from the survivors themselves. Many have reported feeling the presence of their lost loved ones in their homes. They hear footsteps, catch glimpses of shadowy figures in the corner of their eye, or feel a sudden, inexplicable chill. These encounters aren't terrifying. If anything, they're bittersweet, 
offering a fleeting connection to those who were taken away so suddenly. Hiroshi is a taxi driver in the city of Sendai who helped recover bodies from the wreckage. Ever since then, he said he's been visited by the ghosts of the victims. Hiroshi said the following, When night falls and the light has vanished, there are ghosts wandering around this area. Unfortunately, I'm able to see them. I get a headache and my heart feels heavy. I feel a kind of tingling that starts in my neck and goes all the way down to my lower back. Hiroshi is currently attempting to undergo an exorcism. The aim of this Shinto ceremony is to put an end to his psychic experiences and help the souls of the dead complete their journey to the afterlife. Many people have been left traumatized by this disaster. However, even before the tsunami, there were a lot of people in Japan who believed they were possessed, but the number has increased dramatically since the tsunami tragedy. A large number of people in this region are being treated for psychological conditions related to the disaster. Seeing ghosts is one of the symptoms associated with post-traumatic stress disorder. Another characteristic of this disaster is that many of the victims still haven't been found. This means that relatives have no sense of closure and no tangible proof that can help them mourn. In response to the widespread reports, Buddhist monks have been called upon to perform rituals hoping to guide these restless spirits into peace. In Japan, the belief in spirits is deeply rooted in the culture. It's said that spirits who died with unresolved emotions, whether it's anger, sadness, or even love, can't move on to the afterlife. The rituals are meant to help those souls find closure and finally cross over. But not all ghost stories from the tsunami are shrouded in sorrow. Some have reported seeing spirits of children playing joyfully on the streets or near schools, as if unaware of the disaster that took their lives. It's as though they're stuck in a loop of their happiest memories, innocent and untouched by the tragedy. So what do we make of these stories? Are they the manifestations of collective grief? Or is there truly something more? After all, in a land where the spiritual and the physical worlds often intertwine, it's not surprising that so many believe these ghosts are real. They're a reminder of the lives that were cut short, of the communities that were forever changed, and perhaps a testament to the resilience of the human spirit even after death. In the end, whether you're a believer in ghosts or not, these stories serve a purpose. They keep the memory of the tsunami's victims alive, ensuring that they're never forgotten. They offer comfort to some and a deep sense of misery to others. But above all, they remind us that even in the face of unimaginable loss, life in some form or another goes on. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey into the supernatural. If you found this particular topic as fascinating as I did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments as I read every single comment left. Don't forget to subscribe for more dives into the mysterious and unexplained. And until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and thank you so much for watching.